at the racetrack. So we have a trailer. So this is our 2022 ATC Game Changer Pro 2816. And the 28 means it's 28 foot long trailer. Um, and we're so incredibly excited. And uh, a big reason why we got the trailer is actually for the channel. And uh, there's Ellie and Jade over there on the patio. Let me get, give you guys a quick tour of the trailer, uh, outside and inside, and then talk a little bit about what we're planning for next year for 2022. Okay, let's go. So the whole ATC brand is all about aluminum trailers, uh, fully aluminum built with aluminum chassis for lightweight and also uh, it's built very much for people with toys, quote unquote. And what we mean by toys here is uh, our motorcycles, quads, ATVs, um, even race cars and track cars also fit in them. So they come in different lanes and whatnot, but we're super excited about it because this is a perfect setup for motorcycles and for motorcycle track days. Um, so just on the outside here, you have a really, really big awning, which is really awesome for like a sunny day. And then another really cool thing is, um, this is really awesome for anyone that has like a motorcycle or a vehicle or even a generator is that the trailer actually has a fuel station and the trailer uh, can carry 36 gallons of fuel and it has a fuel pump. So you don't have to carry giant jugs of gas anymore. You just fill up your motorcycle or your, or your generator, whatever it is you have, which is super awesome. But another really cool feature is over here, if you follow me. So this is, this is our setup here, but on the back of it, it comes with a dog, just kidding, no, that's Ellie. Um, I think a lot of folks have seen Jane, but this is Ellie, this is our other dog. Um, she's, uh, we've had her for like 10 years or so. But a big reason why we ended up getting the trailer uh, was because we wanted to bring them along with us wherever we traveled. And so we're super excited that Ellie and Jane can both come with us now to the track. So, so basically with a toy hauler, the back wall actually comes down as a ramp and then you can actually prop it up with these cables here and then set up a fence to make a patio. And so like James and Judy have been hanging out there all day long, it's a super awesome place to just hang out. We have a great view of the track from here and it's just been a really awesome uh, feature. Okay, all right, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Hola. <laughs> okay, so we have a screen door here. Come in. Don't run. Back, 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 back. Okay, so immediately to your left when you enter is the main cabin space. And this is really awesome because everything that's built for this trailer is built for the motorsports enthusiasts in mind. So whether you're doing dirt biking or, or motorcycling or cars, whatever it is, uh, because pretty much all the furniture just folds right up against the wall and organizes really neatly. So this dinette here, the table, the couches, everything folds up and there's storage all around above, which is great for storing, you know, your foods, your utensils, whatever it is that you need. And all your, of course, all your, your uh, motorcycling gear that you need as well. Um, so this all stores up. There's a bunch of outlets everywhere. And then back here is really the kind of cargo hold. Um, and so you, you see that right here, these are the airline strips and you can just put uh, different types of fasteners into the, into the airline strips. And then you, so you can you know, put wheel chocks or a lot of people will put like a Pitbull TRS system to tow their bikes. We're still getting that all sorted out right now. Um, above me is called the Happy Jack bed. And uh, we did one night and we slept in it and it was actually really comfortable, I was surprised. So there's this button over there and you press it and it actually just comes down about midway. You can, you can uh, configure how, how high or how low you want it to be, uh, but it fits a queen size bed, so it's a, it's a proper bed for two adults. Um, the other cool thing is that this dinette set, these couches here, this dinette set here, um, will actually fold out into a bed as well. And then this sofa sleeper also folds out into a bed. So it can sleep a ton of people. Um, we have a screen here, you know, to keep the outside out a little bit, but you know, it, it's, it's good to have that. And then you have the, obviously the patio here, which is super awesome. So come over here, the zips open, but out here is the patio. This is like one of my favorite things, I think, just cause I, a big part of all of this is just to be outdoors. And uh, I just love having the patio feature, right? And then, um, you know, you can sit here and we have actually had it right here. And then uh, the track is right there. So you can see people flying by. It's kind of fun. If it's too loud, park it somewhere else. But one of the fun, uh, one of the cool things I've seen people do with this is uh, there's a fellow in the ATC forums. He actually um, backed up this trailer 
right above a, uh, a river or a lake and it put the ramp down and it set up his patio above the water and just fished out of his patio. So lots of things you can do creatively. Okay, let's get back inside. A few more things to show you guys. Okay, so here um, we optioned a countertop here. This was supposed to be like, like our computer desk here, but we ended up putting a, a, um, a water boiler here, a water heater. Here's the kitchen. So this has a two stove burner and we've cooked a couple of meals on it already. And that's been really good. So it's pretty awesome to be able to wake up and have like a hot meal before a track day or before riding, right? So you feel really refreshed. It's got a microwave oven. Uh, which works great and then a bunch of storage beneath it a sink faucet and one of the clever things they do is that they know that there's limited counter space in a trailer so everything here is um, so that you can support it you have a cutting board here essentially you roll that up and there's a sink right below it so it's just really convenient it's really obvious that the designers of the trailer uh, really think about the the people that you know their customers they really know where the customers need and how the customers will use the trailer so I love how well thought out it is um, I mean even like here on the walls you know every, there's like USB ports like galore because you know it's 2021 and then all the windows have blackout shades so you can really kind of block out the outside if you want to um, and they're also uh, openable so you can get a cross breeze in which feels really great um, there's your like audio system up here. There's a DVD player we realized, which is pretty fun. And there's a TV that comes with it. And you can option more TVs if you want. Um, the next thing in the kitchen area is the refrigerator. And I love this because the refrigerator is actually like a properly sized refrigerator and you can store enough food, I would say for a whole week if you, know, if you store, if you, if you plan accordingly. Um, so that's been awesome. So I'll just show you guys. So here's the freezer. We have nothing in the freezer right now. Um, freezer's right here. It's nice. It's a nice uh, capacity, and here's the fridge, which is really, really good capacity. So you have a bunch of storage here. We have lots of drinks. We drink a lot, which is good. Okay, we're gonna try to show you guys the bathroom here. But this is the when you enter the trailer, essentially the bathroom is right in front of you uh, in this configuration. So open it up, and there's the bathroom. But let me go this way. So. It's a real bathroom. It's pretty freaking awesome. There's a, there's a toilet here, uh, which you, know, you can see comfortably, um, a proper sink, uh, you know, mirrors up here, the cabinetry, all this stuff is standard, which is great. And uh, ATC, right now, I believe the standard configuration for ATC is that everything is white, which I think is really clean and brightens up the space. Um, I've seen older ones with like red or black, or whatever it is, and it's just too, too uh, dark inside. But yeah, so you know, we've got towels up here, you can put your toiletries, um, you know, this opens up as well. So just lots of storage options, which is great. And this shower is like a proper shower here. Uh, we have a little shower stool here. And then what's, what's clever here is you can actually pull out this bar um, to get yourself more, more space when you're using the shower and then put it back in to store it. So little touches here and there. Of course, there's a fan above, um, you know, in case you need it. Uh, so that's the bathroom. And then let's go into the bedroom bedroom. So the, the, the 2816 is a front bedroom design. So there's actually a full bedroom in the front. Um, so over here, let me turn on the light. Okay, so here we are. So this is a proper bedroom, which I really love. Uh, we did one trip recently and my parents just used this bedroom. It was very comfortable for them. They slept well. Um, but essentially this is a, a queen size bed and it comes with the mattresses already. You just have to get the sheets for it. Uh, and then there's storage like everywhere, like just up there, over here, um, over there as well, along the wall, which is great because you need, storage is really, really valuable for, for trailers. Even here beneath the bed, you've got a giant storage, storage compartment. This is the ladder for the patio out there. So, uh, so it's pretty awesome. Just like, you know, you can, you, you can store tons of things in here, which is great. Uh, some people like full time in these things, so that's not our intent, but uh, it does help you travel more comfortably when you can carry all the things that you need, right? So um, yeah, so this that's the inside of the trailer really. And uh, you know, we've done, let's see, we've done two nights in it so far and it's been super fun. And uh, honestly, I like, I think there's gonna be lots of ins and outs as we learn and we get more into this, right? This is our first uh, real travel trailer, a toy trailer. Um, I've only had like simple enclosed trailers in the past, so it's a completely different level here. Um, but you know, uh, so far it's been really great. 
Okay, so we just finished the track day out here and I need my Red Bull because it's been a long day, but it's been super fun. I mean, it's December and it's like 70 degrees outside, which is absolutely surreal. So I'm not gonna complain about that. I'm gonna try to ride as much as I can before it gets really, it gets too cold here. Uh, but yeah, but back to back to the trailer and kind of uh, a little bit about what I'm planning for the channel for 2022. Um, essentially, uh, there are kind of like a handful of like passions that I really love in my life, and one of them is obviously motorcycling, and specifically track riding, uh, and the other part of it is travel, right? And so. 2022 is all about combining those things and those passions and sharing that experience with you. That's exactly why uh, we got the trailer. And so, so the plan for 2022 is to do a number of tours uh, around North America and to visit different racetracks, meet the communities that, that ride on those tracks, right? So a lot of viewers have reached out and invited me to their local track and I can't wait to meet you guys and to ride with you and I'm so excited about that. Um, and then also just share that whole experience with you, right? So there's gonna be a lot of, I think, ups and downs to the whole process, but I just can't wait to do it because that's what life is all about for me, right? And it's about living and enjoying it to the fullest, and that's what I'm excited to share with you. Uh, if possible, let me know in the comments below what tracks you recommend, and I'd love to meet up with you guys uh, to learn the track and ride with you. All right, so last update is on the KTM. A lot of folks have asked me, like, where is your RCHC? Uh, so, According to the dealer, I believe they just arrived. There's like, I think eight that came to North America and they just arrived on the Eastern Seaboard. And so they're being shipped out to the corresponding dealerships all around the country. So um, my goal is to get you guys videos and, and content and, and footage of it as soon as possible. I'm really excited in particular to do a comparison of the RC8C with my 2020 R6 that's track ready. So it'll be really fun to see what that, the new Super Sport class has in store for us. Um, super jazzed about that. And the final thing is um, I have another KTM on order and I think that's gonna be a super special bike. So that's a secret, stay tuned and I hope you guys are excited. All right, that's it for now and uh, see you guys soon, thank you.